Oh, did you see that frame drop? The uh, yeah, that's not me pausing the game. That's the game trying to run. So yeah, we basically just started in 2024, and guess what? We already had the most controversial game probably of the entire year. And you know what it is? Star Wars Battlefront Classic Remaster something. Wait. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. That's what it's called. But you just love English. So yeah, everyone's pissed about this already. It released yesterday at the time of recording this. I'm actually kind of upset as well because of the quality. But at the same time, I'm enjoying it because it's my first time playing Battlefront 2005... The, the original two Battlefronts. I don't... I already forgot when they released it. I figured it out like a couple hours ago. So I'm going to tell you if I think this is worth the $35 in over here in the US. One penny price. Like $35.01. Like that is ridiculous. I saw like a thing on YouTube. It's like... Well, over here on YouTube. Somewhere on YouTube. I, I don't know what it was, but it... Over... Wherever they were, it was thirty four ninety nine. Why is that two cents more expensive? I really don't know, but yeah, I'll give you my honest thoughts on it. And multiplayer is the most controversial thing. Uh, it's kind of hard to say on my end, so you just have to stick around until the end. Because as I make this video, I'm also compiling my thoughts. Yeah, I'm not productive. A few things I want to clarify. First of all, I played this on the Nintendo Switch. So, if things are fixed on other platforms, I wouldn't know because I only picked it up on the Switch. And second of all, I just want to throw this out there. Uh, the thing you saw in the intro, um, I just want to make this very clear. That actually happened to me. And, like, well, wow, I don't really hate games, but this is unbelievably low quality, and I cannot believe this, especially from the people who made these games, which they're pretty good games. They're just, you know, not good at what they're doing. Also, the general consensus seems to be Online bad, single player good. I played online for at least the first one. I don't know if you really call it the second one online. It was kind of bad. So, uh, but yeah, just keep that in mind about when I say kind of bad because it is kind of bad. But the footage I'm showing you right now is Nintendo Switch gameplay of Battlefront 1 online. So it's not terrible. It's not as terrible as people say. For Switch, at least. So, yeah, back to the video. Okay, let's start off where this collection absolutely shines. The single player. Single player is, like, really good. You know, it's not really much to say about it. It's, it's single player. What can I say about it? I, I love it to death. Except for the controls. Those, those controls suck, like, in my footage, there are so many times where I end up having to fix the controls by just going to the menu. And, point for Battlefront 2, why do you have to change the controls for both the regular troopers and the Jedis? They have basically the exact same control scheme with just different names. Like, they don't swap around any buttons or anything. So I have to manually swap each one. That absolutely sucks. But as you can see in the footage, uh, Battlefront 1 isn't even bad single player. Like, this kind of actually looks like multiplayer, but no, it's single player. I did end up finding a way. It's like, you can roll. You know how you can roll? Uh, it, I'm pretty sure it makes you go faster. I'm pretty sure it's been discovered like years Ago, like almost a decade ago, because the games were released almost a decade ago. But, um, yeah, just manipulation of the camera stuff, and you can just go fast sideways, which sideways, 
and you know. But uh, yeah, you can go prone, I guess. I don't know, but like, it's not too good in such a big area when you have to like run a long distance. So you might be thinking, oh, so this game sucks in single player. Sometimes they take the slow movement to its advantage, like seen in the first level of the campaign. So yeah, first level of the campaign, really good, really, really good. Like, seriously, I woke up today, just hopped on the game, and it was like, well, this game is going to be great no matter what map I'm playing. Then I, you know, played that map. The last clip, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, but yeah, they're not all good, so I'm not too big. But I do want to mention online while I'm on this topic. Online works on some maps, like Tatooine. Which, yeah, it just works really well. For some reason, also my dog is screaming. She needs to shut up. I don't know what's going on. Where's Miku inside? I don't even know anymore. So yeah, apologies for barking in the background of here. Any can't tell since I'm recording. But yeah. It's like a decent experience overall for the single player. Like most of the time you're just like you're enjoying it. You're just not having like that good of a time. Because you know like you wanna be making progress instead of discovering Funny sidestep thing with Big Droid. Um, yeah. Like, it is a pain when you die, but it's compressed enough, so that way, like, it's not that much of a pain, you know? But I think that the way some maps handle species that inhabit the place... I feel like it doesn't really work because you're just going to put a new color in there. Yellow. I I'm pretty sure it was in the original, but I just got to point that out. Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, at all. Because, as you can see, as I'm heading towards the yellow marker to get a new point, those are the only enemies we're fighting that are protecting it. Okay. <laughs> And also, if you don't know what the uh, yellow thing is on the right side of the screen, uh, it can be red or blue. It's about to turn... Okay, no, I uh, <laughs> forgot about that. But yeah, that's basically... If it's going down, you're starting to capture the place. Once it's completely white and starts filling back up with blue, that means you're capturing it. Or just in the process of capturing it. Also, like I just want to point this out. Text is so weird in this game. Wait, come on. Also, like, texture upgrade. Wow. His back looks kind of shiny. Did they fix that? But I hear the game's like 70 gig on PC. Like, dang, it's only 30 gig on Switch. So if you have a Switch, buy it on Switch. It's like on your PC storage. And, uh,. Yeah, I'll guess it's green in this map. It's it's green, blue, it it depends. Like, it's weird. Uh but yeah, just it's good overall. Battlefront one. Like people say the multiplayer sucks, but as you can see right here, it's not bad. Sorry for that little gap. I was having trouble stopping the recording. Because I'm too dumb to just leave my mouse there. But, yeah. Um, this is just running smooth for Battlefront 1. Like, look at that. It's great. And, yeah, I wouldn't really have it any other way. Except, maybe I wouldn't have chosen the thing that shoots green arms class. What is that class called? But it sucks. I thought it was just a regular shooter. It's not. 
don't get it confused. <laughs> if there is a droid with like that thick metal droid and it looks like, oh, that's a normal gun, it's not. It shoots green orbs. <laughs> so it's not a normal gun. But yeah, I tried sniping. I was facing the wrong way, so I didn't make any progress, but I did get knocked off by that thing behind me, which I am still mad about. Incredibly mad. By the way, we lost this match. Like, it's really easy to turn around a match. Just want to point out, we completely lost. And, uh, yeah, sometimes I wish, like, you had the choice which side you wanted to be on, kind of like the modern Battlefront games made by DICE. I like those games. I just want to point that out. I do enjoy them. Just not really Battlefront 2015. Like, it just doesn't sit quite, quite right with me. How it is? 2015? It's like Battlefront 2. It, it's really good. The only issue is my PlayStation doesn't have enough storage. Like, 90 gig? Sorry, I gotta get rid of you, Spider-Man. It's like, do you keep Spider-Man, or... Just... Just... Have... No battle for <laughs> It's crazy the size things get nowadays. But like, yeah, I doubt this would run well on my PC. No, because it's like intense graphics or anything. My PC can run security breach. Just fine. Even Ruin. Which added up altogether. I'm gonna actually check. Let me run the second. I think it's around 100 gig, maybe. Okay, security rage. It's only 90 gig. With the Ruin. Oh. It's weird. It's all like. Huge, huge, not just huge. Uh, I did hear they did decrease the file size with the update ones. Also, this thing, this droid, 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 droid I'm using. I just gotta point this out. I hate to be that guy, but he sucks. Like the controls. Like to find the shield, I was practically bashing. Like, that is not good. And just want to point this out before we move to Battlefront 2. I like where the health is. The health is in a good spot. You can check it easily. But sadly, you will make time for this section. So let's go to Battlefront 2. Yo, this is such a good title screen. Nothing here. Look at the moons in the background. They're stretched, which means the whole title screen is stretched just to compensate for the new aspect ratio. Fun, right? Okay, so I will admit uh, this is actually really fun to play. And, in fact, while I was playing, I was thinking, you know what, I should make an edit with this footage. I actually might do it. Probably not, though. Just because I'm lazy. But, yeah. Uh, I really think that this is peak Battlefront Classic Collection. Because, you know, the controls. A is not jump. That is B's job. It, it's been normalized. For a how long? <laughs> Since the SNES. <laughs> Which was back in 1990. What? She must be like really, really late. It's like 1989. I'm not gonna look it up again. But yeah. Um, running was such a good change. But remember what I said about, yeah, that's a great placement for the health bar. They swapped the map and the health bar. And now I never know what health I'm at. So I'm sorry to everyone who loves Battlefront 2. You should click away. Because I'm about to rant about Battlefront 2. Like I said, I'm going to rant about this. What do you think I was doing? A choke? No, this actually kind of ended up hurting me internally. I mean, look, I have to change the controls for both games. Keep the same for both 
normalizing the trust between Jedi's and normal troopers and just just use common sense. Oh, you gotta enable streamer mode for this one and this one? No. I would not be enabling streamer mode then. Which I didn't do, but I think it's something to do with the music or something. I don't know. But since the sound's off, I don't really care. So, like, it is painful to go from a trooper to a Jedi. Because you gotta change all the controls back around. I know, I'm just gonna say something. This plays in Battlefront 1 as well. The right stick. If you push it. Oh, I forgot my switch is on. Uh, if you push the right stick, it should not be zoom. It should be a grenade. Why a grenade? Because the left back trigger is zoom. Which means you gotta find a way to compensate for it. It's not that hard, game devs. It really isn't. It's like it's probably about one line of code, and that's coming from someone who's developing a game. Which, by the way, a little backstory about um, it's only the reason the game is like that. I actually mess up the code. <laughs> okay, so it, you're not supposed to fly. Like, the player was not supposed to fly, but it happened. Also, I thought that was it for the computer. But I had to shoot it again, because I ran out of ammo. You picked that up. I thought, you know what, I can outrun them. Then I realized... There are huge tanks coming my way. <laughs> I still tried, though. <laughs> At least I tried. And then I just look and it's like blown up. Perfect. But, yeah, it's... I think it's a little ranting. It's not that hard to change two buttons. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, you've heard me talk about single player enough now. Single player is good. Annoying, though. Kind of annoying. But good. Time for the game everybody loves. Battlefront 2. But the multiplayer, because... I don't know why. <laughs> I already forgot why I'm doing the multiplayer. Okay, so multiplayer. Absolute garbage. What do I have to say about the multiplayer? I don't have to say nothing about it. Just watch as I try desperately to play. Okay. I think it passed it by now, but basically it said there are no servers that match your preference. I clicked to play online after entering my name. There are no servers? Well, so I had to make my own. Nobody joined it, so I left it. And wouldn't you know it? Guess what happened after that? Yay! Fun, right? Let me tell you what happened. The game crashed. So, do I think this game is worth it? It depends on your situation. Do you own a copy of it already? If so, no, do not buy this. If you own either one of them, or heck, the dice games, do you, if you own any of those four, do not buy this. But if you're on Nintendo Switch playing them for the first time, I would recommend it. Uh, PlayStation playing for the first time, recommend it. But any other situation, do not buy this. Okay? Just don't. And I'm sorry for being so harsh in this video. Uh, I don't really mean to be, but 
No, I just kind of passionate about this type of stuff, and I did end up deciding I'm going to be streaming this game tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST. So that'll be March 16th. So, yeah, if you want to join me in a public, or not public, uh, just a lobby in general, then yeah, I'll be in there. By the way, my name on the Nintendo Switch is, like, I think it's an empty star, full star, happy, like, H-I, I mean, not H-I, H-A-P-I, full star, empty star. But it will show up as, like, that A with, like, a squiggly line over it, instead of the star stuff. So, yeah, if you see that in your lobby, just know you are in the same lobby as me. And, yeah, I might even give out my Switch friend code on the stream. Like, not as, like, a giveaway or anything. Just, like, show people in case they want to add me. I play Splatoon often. That's the game I play. But, yeah, I just don't really use online as often as I should. So, yeah, if you want to join the stream, it will be... Tomorrow, March 16th, 3 p.m. EST. So I hope to see you there. And if you don't want to miss the stream, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you are not interested in the content after that, you just came for Star Wars stuff, I'm planning on doing more Star Wars stuff, but no guarantees. I might do like a, you know, Force Unleashed stream, but this might be my only, you know, video on it other than glitches about this game because you know funny sidestep walking <laughs> so yeah if you don't want to stream subscribe and if you're not interested in content after that then you can just turn off your notifications for my channel i really don't mind most people are like put on notifications put on notifications i really don't mind statistics or statistics you know anyways i hope this helped you Make the right decision on whether you should buy this game or not, because that's really all I do this channel for. And I apologize for a lack of game audio. Um, I had to move to CapCut recently for my usual video pad because I accidentally updated it and that took away my access to exporting because I didn't make a subscription to the new version, which doesn't make sense and you can't really revert it back easily. So I ended up just switching to CapCut, and I am pretty new to it, so I don't really know how to do, like, volume mixing, but once I figure that out, it'll be a lot better. But it won't be an issue for streaming purposes. In fact, I don't even record on OBS anymore. I'm recording on CapCut now, which is very useful. Since it's a lot easier to record on CapCut than VideoPad. So, yeah, I just thought I'll let you guys know what's been going on with the whole editing situation. Why isn't there any noise this time? That's why. Because if I had my voice, the game gets too loud. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And remember, stream tomorrow, 3 p.m. EST. Gotta. <laughs> Google that time, I don't really mind, but also, if you want to join my lobby, don't forget, uh, you gotta put it in, I'm not put it, you gotta play on Switch, because as far as I'm aware, there is no crossplay. And also, as far as I'm aware, uh, nobody really plays the Switch version that often, <laughs> because it's a Switch, meant to be played on the go. So yeah, anyways, I will... See you in that stream, and goodbye.